can't see. Good. So this is dragon. Okay. Tiger. Dragon. Um, coming out of dragon. Tiger. Coming out of tiger. Coming out of tiger. You're right going to be on top. It's going to be on bottom. Shoulders going to be rolled forward. And you want to make sure your palms facing together. And this is all going to be one unit. So if you're holding food, you going to make sure that it's all part of you and no one can take it away. When you come down, you need to do your rock. This will stay into your body, so you guys are going to take it in. There you go. This top hand is going to be your pivot hand. So bear with me, so relax. So I'm just going to walk, I'll walk through it and do it with me. So the top hand is your pivot hand, so when you come down, you're actually going to use this top hand as your pivot as it swings up. So use this hand as your momentum that you in your rock. As long as you're more than uh, parallel to the floor, come up about 15, 20 degrees. And that would be for your arch back. Freezer. This guy, you want to try to have your fingertips perpendicular to the floor, and they're going to be parallel to each other. Mm -hmm. Good, relax. Good, relax. Even if you can't do this, keep this. Okay? So, hand tiger, come down. Exhale, come in up. So when you rock up, let this finger be parallel to each other, and this guy's going to be about up there. So you're holding all the weight on top of your chest. So don't think here, think here. There you go. So do it. Bring that shoulder back. There you go. Good. Bring this in. There you go. Good. Relax. Do that again. Sit down. Deep stance. Exhale. Close. Keep this rut too high. Down your throat. There you go. Good. There you go. Good. Relax. One more time, just like that. Yeah. So when you come out at the end, end of the tiger, so you rock down, that shoulder. As you come up, find that swing. So you're going to swing that bottom hand up with control. Freeze. Make sure your fingers are parallel. There you go. That was nice tucked in. This guy's going to be right in front of your sternum. So there's a little bit of dexterity when you come to the wrist. And this is going to be right in front of your own center mass. So make sure it's not in front of the shoulder or it's not going to be too low. Essentially, these guys are working together as if they're holding the ball. When you make your full rock back, so right now, his, turn sideways. So his weight, he's holding, is uh, parallel to the floor. He actually wants to, make, when he makes his rock back, roughly 20 to 15 degrees, but he wants to have the weight on his sternum. That's why you don't want it in front of your throat. Once he finds the apex of that natural rock, that spring to come forward, he's going to push the weight off. When he pushes his weight off, he actually comes straight in front. What will stop him actually will be the lock from here. So he certainly never wants to have a straight arm. And he'll keep a comfortable bend. So wherever that reach is, for some people, depending upon how they're built, may have a little bit longer. Uh, certainly for, needs to be comfortable for whatever uh, distance you're moving from. Make sure you keep the shoulders back. Once you're here, you need to face front again. The, the hands are literally lined up in front of the sternum. Shoulders back. And this is going to be right in front. There you go. So now if you face the camera, you'll have the camera lens, fingers, here, sternum. Okay, come down. There you go. Good. Relax. Okay. There you go. Good. And then if you look in the mirror, you want to come over a couple more inches. Just there you go. Once you're there, very much like the cabbage patch. You're going to pull this hand, arch it into in front of your sternum. You're actually, actually are always going to stay parallel. So as they move, you're actually going to swing in. There you go, just like that. Good. So from the beginning, just for, just for motion from here. Uh -huh. So you come down. There you go. Watch your shoulders. Press up off the chest. There we go. <laughs> okay, so coming out in a tiger, nice and slow. Got your nice fingers. Hold. So tiger, keep it nice and tight. There you go. So we'll switch over to dragon. You switch your fingers and then let that bottom hand swing up. Freeze. 
Little dexterity, keep this front of your chest. Bring that shoulder back and keep these right front. There you go. So as it presses up, you'll press both hands up. His right hand is actually going to come right in front of the sternum. These guys are going to freeze, stay parallel to your shoulders. Same distance. So when this hand gets in front of the sternum, this hand is going to move. Okay. If this one decided to move to the right, left, this hand will move. So they work in unison. Um, go ahead, turn sideways. Go face that one. So he has a little, uh, some distance between his hands and his shoulders. So as he transitions, he's actually going to bring both of them back. So very much as if he's still playing a, or a flute, but he has a linear line where both palms can see each other, fingertips are still parallel, facing to each other, and they're facing straight up. He'll shift them all the way over. If you want to go ahead and face forward. Same thing, there's a, a nice little crease where the, the trap uh, gets stretched, but this pec really gets squeezed, a lot of blood gets forced into it. Same distance, and again, he has a nice full stretch from the shoulder over. These guys are still straight, they're still parallel to each other and facing vertical. Once he's hit his full match in the side, he's going to bring them back to the left side. And just like checking the expiration date of a fire extinguisher, this hand is going to be about ear level, but his, his hand actually will have a little bit of rotation as if it's almost behind his, uh, his middle finger is almost facing or pointing behind his head. This guy is going to be below his left shoulder. And again, this is a stretch, so you can do whatever is comfortable. Turn sideways. This arm is not vertical straight up and down. It, this is straight. It needs to have a little bit of a, of a stretch. Again, middle finger is almost pointing behind his head. Go ahead and face forward again. Once he's made that full stretch, he's going to transfer everything back in front. His left hand will actually go to the center of his clavicles where they meet. His elbow will lock in, making this all one unit. Once they've hit the same distance, this weight that he pushed in, he's going to incorporate it into his rock. Freeze. This hand is not going, it's always going to stay perpendicular to the floor, so it's not going to swing out and it's not going to swing in, but it'll stay uh, chin, palm, palm until he's reached his apex, the bottom of his rock. 